We understand how the world works, but we will continue to show up and comment on record and work towards the enforcement of the rural zoning and any environmental protections possible. At today's Zoning Commission meeting, land for Gypsum's Red Rock housing development was approved to be reclassified from rural open land to residential and urban. Today's ruling was extremely discouraging, but we don't think it's over and we're gonna keep fighting. We feel like what's appropriate for Red Rock is rural and the mountain that it's proposed for is the mountain that blocks the city light and traffic and noise from the canyon. So it makes it really a really nice barrier from urban development. And that's what's concerning is that if you put a development on top of the mountain that's the barrier from development, then it could really alter the experience of the canyon. With the zoning change, the approximately 2,010-acre area just off Route 159 would transition from its current state as a gypsum mine to residential. I mean, I'm in support of growth in general, right? So I think new communities uh, create new opportunities, new jobs, and new housing for, for the community. Obviously, there's a, a huge housing shortage in, in Las Vegas, and 3,500 homes will kind of help that. But for conservationist Maria Minich, the impact of the development could have worrying consequences on local wildlife. I'm very much opposed to this 3,500 home master plan community, obviously, because it's encroaching on the very precious Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area. And as a desert tortoise biologist, whatever habitat we have for the desert tortoise is dwindling and dwindling further and further with ever increasing population and expansion of Las Vegas. And to do that on Red Rock Canyon seems absolutely sacrilegious. For News 3, I'm Ming-San Lau.